All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to set up SC Caster. As you can see, I have SC Caster version 127. That is the latest version. Um, I'm going to put a link to this version in my description box. Um, but when you get it, it's not going to have the 127 added. I added the 127 because I also have 115 and version 116. And so to distinguish between them, I just renamed my zip file. When you unzip it, um, it's going to look like this minus all of this DSP stuff. This DSP stuff is actually plugins. They're Winamp plugins. And so you see, I have a folder here with Winamp plugins in them, and I just copied them over into SC Caster. So we're going to be looking at some of those plugins. But here's SC Caster. It's just like any other standalone encoder except they, this new version added some new stuff um one of the things they added was you can now capture the sound to encode from the sound card output versus the sound card input with but and a few others you can only capture from the sound card input now if you're a dj you can still use this plugin um, and just use the sound card input, set up your encoders. As you can see, I have two encoders in here. Um, turn the auto start off on that one. Same setup, Shoutcast 1, 2, Icecast. They have this directly. I don't know how to use that yet because I'd have no need for it. But um, if someone was to ask, I will, I will take the time and figure out how what's going on with that. But of course, um, you can do MP3, AUG, AAC, and AAC+. I really love AUG. I wish more, I wish the Android uh, apps could, would support AUG. I think they do. If I do, I have to build the Android app myself. But um, because it sounds so much better than AAC+. Now, all web browsers will support AUG. And AUG sounds real good. You can go to my uh, web, you can go to my web pages or my stations, and you will be able to hear what that sounds like. All right. So to add another encoder, you will simply simply click on the plus sign and put in your encoder information and save it. If it is the correct information, the status will change to online. Okay. Basically, it's, it's saying that it's connected to the server that it's set on. And in this case, it's an IceCast server. So it's, it's saying that it's successfully connected, even though I don't have any audio going through it. Now, right now, there are, if we click on this settings thing, uh, it comes up on the main. The main is where you select the device that you want to use. Right now, it's select to take the output of my device. I could select the input of my device, and you will begin to see the meters jump when I hit save on my voice. So we'll do that real quick. Testing one, two. So now you see that it's um, capturing my voice. The other thing about this version is, or well, all of them really, you want to set the open device, you want to set it to by device name because Windows will shift these devices around should one of them come offline or you unplug one of them. It'll shift the, the numbers around and you will, if you do by number, say like this is in number five and let's say I reboot or something and now this sound card is in number three. Well, this thing is going to be looking for the sound card number five, which means you're going to get the wrong sound card. So I'm going to suggest when you select your device, make sure you select by name, name, you know, the name of the device. Then down here, the sample, sample frequency, uh, 44.1, you want to stay within that. The reconnect and restore set at 30. You can set it at 15 if you want. You can have this start up when Windows start automatically. You can also hide it to the system tray so that when it starts up, um, when you launch SC Caster, it'll go straight to the system tray and be out of the way. This other tab 
is where you put in your station information, just like any, any encoder. And then this title update tag for radio DJ, you want to select from the file and you want to point to where the now playing text file is set up in radio DJ select, um, UTF eight. And also they have this feature. I don't know how this feature works yet, but I believe them. Don't quote me on it, but I think that this will email you should your stream stop streaming. But I have to look into that more. I just want to get this video up on how to get it going. So basically you want to set your device and I'm going to put this back on the output here. You want to make sure it's set on by device name, 44.1. This can be whatever you want, 30 seconds, 15 seconds. Um, you can select whether or not you want to start or go to the system tray. All right, so I'm going to hit save. And as you can see, it went away. So I'm going to fire up um, an installation of Radio DJ. This is Radio DJ 1, 1, no, 2000. Oh, oh, six. So you can see it's playing now. It's getting this audio from the output of the sound card, which means I no longer need to use voice meter. Okay. And the reason why I don't need to use voice meter. Because I can use the input now. Now, some people say, well, how do you deal with the delay? that comes from, um, you know, when it, when it delays, well, the playback of radio DJ comes up on my mixer, the auxiliary sand, uh, comes up to the input. So if I'm going to talk over a song, I'm just going to lower the volume and that's going to allow me to talk over that song. You can't hear it, but I can hear it. Okay. Also, if I go back over here, you can also get your listener count from over here as well. So what I do is when I open up the microphone and I talk, I just turn down radio DJ I just turn it down and I deal with it on that level that way I don't hear the delay in my voice so let me stop this song so that you can see that my voice is triggering radio DJ hello hello and you can see the delay so what I do is I just turn down the fader that radio DJ is coming in on so that I don't hear the delay. Okay. Okay. The other thing in radio DJ you want to make sure you do is under options, options, you want to go to sound cards and you want to take this down to one or two. The Lord of number, um, the more the music dropped. I noticed the music wasn't dropping enough for me. So let's play this song. So when I hit the input button, the music should drop. And you should see my voice a little higher. That's what you want. I still hear the delay in my head, but I can just turn down the fader. And I can still hear the music a little bit but I'm not hearing the delay from my voice and it's not interfering with what I'm trying to say. Okay. So this eliminates having to have, for me, it eliminates having to have a uh, voice meter and I'm controlling everything from the mixer and I'm using auxiliary sends to send whatever I want to go into radio DJ into radio DJ. So that's that in a nutshell. And um, let me show you, if I go over here and turn on the input, you 
see the music drop and you see when I talk, you see that uh, my voice is much louder than the music. So if I stop talking, see the music is back there. Radio DJ will raise the level of the music. But when I talk, my voice is over the music. Okay. So that's how you set up the SC caster. Um, you should have seen the video on setting up the now I'm playing and now I'm playing on, in radio DJ. You want to go to file. Your target file is where you want the output of the now I'm playing to go to. And as you can see, it's in the radio DJ folder going to that default now I'm playing dot text file. And the template is coming from the radio DJ folder under template. And I'm using the one that says uh, now I'm playing on the templates. Now I'm playing test template. I'm just using that template. That's my template file. My target file is the now I'm playing file. And therefore over here in SC caster on the title update is the same path. I'm grabbing the target file, which is the one that's inside the radio DJ folder. Now I'm playing dot text. So that's how you get the metadata over there. As you can see, Joe Robinson days of wine and roses is what's playing. Oh, and you can see also when I go live, you see the word live. So that, you know, that gets transmitted as well. You can change that. Um, let me see. That can be changed under options. On the stream title, see this live. You can tick this off if you want to, so that when you talk, when you hit the input button, nothing goes out. Or whatever you type in here, when you hit the input button, that's what shows up in the metadata. Okay, I almost forgot the part about the plugins. Now, as you can see, I have. Uh, a few plugins here, as you can tell by the DSP underscore. Do these do not come with SC Caster? All right, so as you can see over here on the right hand side, I have this one loaded up. So when I double click on it, it's going to come up. This is the OptiMax Winamp version. Um, it's something I've had in for years. It's hard to find. These days, there is a, someone did make a site where they had um, old WinAmp plugins still available. Uh, if I find it, I will put it in the description box. But um, this is my favorite plugin. I was using Stereo Tube, but this does what I need. Because Radio DJ, believe it or not, sounds good by itself. I mean... You can put the stereo tool in there, double click on it, um, and it will run, no problems. But on uh, my machine, I'm running four stations. So that's kind of like overkill. Um, some of these other ones, all of these are Winamp plugins, and you can use VST plugins, but you have to use the Vin, the Winamp wrapper. This is similar to Stereo Tool, another version. I've heard heard good reviews on it. I don't like it. I like things to look visually pleasant, but it does work. Um, then they have a light version. Apparently, you have to pay even for the light version. The light version is simpler. Oh, simpler controls. And you can see the website is there. I'll zoom in on that so you can see that website. I don't even know if these companies are still in existence. Um, but this one is a wonderful plugin. What it does is it really boosts the sound. It really makes it hot. Without it, uh, the meters won't even get into the red. This has a bass boost and some gain. Again, it has some presets. It, it just sounds good. And I'm going to put links to my stations 
in the description box so you can go listen to it. I use Og uh, on my websites where I have that. The streaming enabled. Okay. Um, so I wanted to show you the second box is where you will go to add in. And if they're not coming up, make sure you're pointing to where they're located. If they're not inside of this folder, let's say, I can actually point them to the folder they're actually in. So I had this folder called Winamp Plugin, so I can point it to that folder. And um, you will still see the same plugins. They're still there. So you can point it to wherever your Winamp plugins are. And again, you can use VST plugins, but you have to use the Winamp VST wrapper. All right, so I hope this has helped. I had to redo this video. I didn't want the video to be too long. It was like 20 something minutes long. I was like, Ugh. All right, real quick. Sometimes you can corrupt this thing um, by the sound card getting missing, removed or whatever. If you do, Simply go into the folder where SC Caster is, and you see this SC Caster IN, INI file? If you delete that, that'll kind of reset things. So I'm gonna put a number behind that, to kind of throw it off. Now, when you reset it, it's gonna come up with no streaming information. So it's like you gotta reset it all over again, okay? And it'll rebuild the any, any file. But since I already have one, just renamed it. And that's a good way to back up, back it up as well, too. You know, copy that any file and put it somewhere else. You know, you might even want to right click and say, send to compressed file. And, um, that way you'll have a backup of this file should it become corrupt because it can come become corrupt if the sound cards change up or something happened on your system that that se caster any file can become corrupt and the, the easiest way to get it back is to take the copy that you saved somewhere else and put it back in here all right hope this has helped thank you guys don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe um and let me know what type of videos you need, as well as, you know, the ones over at howtoyouseradiodj.com. Also, if you're looking for some imaging software for Radio DJ that I am creating, then go over to carterscripts.com, formerly known as the webscriptstore.com. All right, till next time, people. Keep on broadcasting. We'll talk to you later.